Hello everyone. In today's video, we will talk about the machine learning models. But do you know how many machine learning models fail in real life? In data science, the number of models that are built and the percentage of models that survive the shelf life, that means delivering the expected results for at least two to three years, the percentage is significantly low. So why machine learning models fail? And what do we need to do to make sure that the models survive the shelf life? This is very important because business has to spend a lot of time and effort of the data scientists to build those models. And if the models doesn't work or it doesn't give the expected business outcome, then it's very frustrating for the business and leads to a huge amount of loss for the company. Before we go ahead, for those of you who are new to our channel, a quick intro from our side. Scientist Express is a global online data science training platform. We teach data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence and credit risk. We help mid-career professionals from diverse backgrounds to transition their career into data science, ML, AI and credit risk domains. We also provide dedicated placement assistance and job support for a smooth transition of our students into the new data science roles. Our faculties have decades of industry experience into diverse domains, startups and industry experts of their domains. We have presence across six continents and 43 plus countries with a 99% plus success rate. So if you like the type of content we share and want to see more such informative videos, please subscribe to Scientist Express and hit the like icon. Coming back to our topic, most of the machine learning models fail because of stability. Imagine you built a model spending six months and you went live with an A-B testing. But in another three to six months, you realized or the business realized that the model is not giving the expected results. For example, if there are six risk bands as part of a model outcome like A, B, C, D, E, F, where A band approval rate should have been 40%, B band approval rate should have been 30% like that. And after six months, you see that suddenly the A band approval rate dropped to 20%. Then this model cannot be used or for business, it doesn't make sense to continue using the model. As I mentioned earlier, generally the shelf life of a model should be at least two to three years to derive the business outcome. Now to solve this problem or if you want to know why models fail, the primary reason is that the stability is broken. We talk a lot about other metrics, but we never talk about stability. But that is actually the most important metric for a model. Imagine a variable like income and think 10 years back in 2013, what could be the income distribution for a given sample of population? Say probably less than 20,000 rupees monthly income will constitute around 50%. 20,000 to 50,000 may be around 20%. 50,000 to 1 lakh may be another 20%. And 1 lakh plus may be 10%, right? Now, this percentage, if I look in 2023, it must have significantly changed where less than 50,000 rupees monthly income will constitute 20%. Then 50,000 to 1 lakh may be another 20%. 1 lakh to 2 lakh may be another 20%. 2 lakh to 3 lakh another 20%. And 3 lakh plus may be 10%. Now, if I use this income variable in a model, then the model will not be stable between 2013 and 2023. The metric that is used to measure the stability of individual features is called the CSI that is characteristic stability index. When you are building a model, the CSI should be maintained for all the variables to less than 0.05. And when you are monitoring a model, you need to check that the CSI is not breaching 0.2. If the CSI is breaching 0.2, that means the variable cannot be used in that model. And when the CSI is breaching 0.1, that's a warning sign that the variable is going to break and you need to find a replacement. Similarly, for model score, the threshold is 0.2. Above 0.2, we cannot use the model. Above 0.1, we need to start finding a replacement. And if the score is less than 0.1, then we can continue using the model. We need to check the stability metric at the time of model building and also at the time of model monitoring. It is generally monitored quarterly and you need to give the monitoring report to the MAC committee, which is chaired by the CEO of the company. Thus, the stability metric is the most important metric and if you want to make long-lasting models or stable models that will deliver the expected outcome for the entire shelf life, you need to take good care of these stability metrics for the individual features and the model. In case you have any questions or comments regarding the video, please write it in the comment section and we will get back to you. 
and in case you have any queries regarding the courses that we offer please call us on the number given below that's it for today see you in the next video